Today I'm gonna to talk to you why getting paid by the hour or getting paid a salary is trash. I don't wanna call it a scam, but sometimes that's what it feels like it is. Behind me, you can see a bunch of construction workers. Construction workers usually get paid by the hour. When you're getting paid by the hour, you're getting paid just for existing. So if these construction workers work harder and build whatever they're building faster, they just get rewarded with more work. They don't get rewarded with more money. It de-incentivizes you to work hard because that's not how you're paid. You're just kind of paid to just be there and do your job. And there's really no incentive to work harder unless your boss is like, well, you better work harder so that way you can keep your job. And if like keeping your job is the only real reason to work harder, that's not a really good reason to work harder. This is real awkward filming in public. So awkward. This dude's behind you, five feet away, about to roast their hourly job. <laughs> there are certain jobs that make sense to get paid hourly, like, uh, like at the gas station over here, the person has to be at the cash register from whatever their shift is to whatever their shift is. They have zero incentive to work harder. They just exist. And in this scenario, when your boss gets mad at you and they're like, well, what am I paying you to do? Quite literally, just to be here. I guess I can sweep or whatever that, but that's not your job. It's not the thing that you're being paid to do. Your job is to exist, literally. And they try to make it something that it's not. It, it makes sense in certain scenarios where you just need someone to be somewhere for X amount of time because that's literally what you're paying for, for them to be at a location for X amount of time, not to do anything else while they're there. Anything else that you're doing there is just bonus content. There's nothing that you specifically can do in the moment right now to increase your value. Maybe if you stay here longer for a few years and you prove yourself to the company, maybe they'll reward you with a slightly higher rate per hour of existing. I mean, think about it, it's kind of sad. Let's talk about the people that charge hourly and why it's bad for them. There are a bunch of professions that do this. This is a, the auto mechanic. They charge hourly to fix your car, plumbers, electricians, yada, yada, yada. If those people work harder, they make less money. They are incentivized to take their time. And as a customer, you kind of know this. So like when the plumber comes to your house and he's charging you 150 bucks an hour, you're like, are you really trying to fix this? Or are you just taking your time? You know, they walk back out, they go to their truck, they hang out in their truck and you're like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm just looking for my tool. And you're like, well, can you look faster? And he's like, I'm looking for it best I can. And it hurts them to work faster, to work harder. And as a customer, it ends up charging you more money and you don't trust them to know that they're actually doing their best work, working as hard as they can, you know, doing whatever. So what's the solution here, Josh? What do you do? What would you advocate for instead? A day rate is probably what I would charge. Just this is my flat base rate. And at the end, when I'm done, I'll tack on anything else that I need. And then people might be like, well, what if I'm overpaying you? Well, you're, you're not paying for my time. You're paying for my skill and my expertise and my work, and that's the rate. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. And this benefits both parties. Let's say you charge like $500 for the day and it only takes you 30 minutes to do the thing. Well, you freed up a bunch of time for yourself and that's great for you. However, let's say you charge 500 bucks and it takes you way longer than expected. Well, this benefits the customer because they're not paying more money. They're not penalized for that. You're not having to charge them, it's on you. If you finish it faster, great. If you finish it slower, that's on you. That's the win-win scenario and you are being paid based on merit, based on skill sets. You could do day rates, project-based, and I mean, it is what it is. This is the rate for my skill and expertise, not the rate for my time. Now again, this doesn't work in every scenario for every single job because of the nature of the work. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. So the fire station behind me, right? This is an example of where being paid hourly kind of makes sense because you can't predict the work and it'd be kind of messed up to get paid like per emergency that you went on like being paid from someone's tragedy. But on top of that, like you don't know when the work is gonna come in or not. So the only thing that you can do is just get paid to be there during that time. For people that have jobs that are being paid hourly, it doesn't benefit anyone. It doesn't benefit you if you work harder. Congratulations, you get more work. If you work harder, congratulations, you worked yourself out of a job. If you work harder, you may have leveled up your skills a little bit. But again, it doesn't matter if you level up your skills or not because that's not how you get paid. You get paid for existing. And to me, that's really depressing. Pay for what I can do, not for just me being here. So being paid for your time just doesn't make a lot of sense unless you are just needed to be on location or you can't predict the work. But if you can, then being paid for your time is almost like an insult. It's like they own you for X amount of hours. And I, for one, do not like that feeling at all. I want to be valued for what I can do, not for being alive. Salary is pretty similar to hourly. They're paying you for 40 hours a week. So again, 
if you work harder during your 40 hours a week, maybe you get to keep your job or maybe you'll get a raise. Highly doubt it. Maybe you'll get a promotion or whatever, but hard work does not directly translate into anything. When you're being paid for your time, you're only incentivized to do the bare minimum. If you're charging by the hour, you wanna do the bare minimum because that's how you make the most money. If you're working by the hour, you wanna do the bare minimum because you don't get anything else if you do more. It just doesn't make any sense when you think about it. So if you ever have the opportunity, do a flat rate or a fee or a percentage or something where it's based on what you can do and not again just existing a good example of what I mean is like this YouTube channel I get paid based on results experience the topic how well I edit it so on and so forth like I could spend all day to do this I could make this video in 30 minutes if possible but the end result is up to me like if the video does good hopefully it's because I've built up experience I know what the audience wants I edit good uh, write the story good make it cohesive it's something the audience wants to see it's related like it all comes down to me putting all of my skills that I've learned so far together and the outcome is the results of that and that's how it should be at work. Everything that you know, what you can do, and what you can produce should be the value, not existing. It's just an insult. Anyways, guys, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, click subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. There's some links in the description if you'd like to support the channel. See you guys in the next one.